Welcome to the evening Bible study. This evening I share the word of the Lord and the brother David. Can you look at the James chapter 5, verse 7 to 12? Yeah, you can read it for me. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the, fo- see how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable yeah. crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. Yeah. You too, be patient and stand firm. Yeah. Because the Lord's coming is near. Yeah. Don't grumble don't grumble against one another, yeah. brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord, as you know we count as blessed. Those who have preserved you have heard of Job's preservance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Above all, my brother and sisters, do not swear, not by heaven or or by earth or by anything else. All you need to say is simple yes or no, otherwise you will or otherwise you will be condemned. Thank you. This evening, I would like to share with you for three things. According to the book of James, who is this man? James. He just walked in. James. Anybody knows? James. Brother. Younger brother of Jesus. Do you know, Jesus, he has got uh, how many brothers? Brothers and sisters. Uh, five. five. And then, 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 do you know, younger brother, his name is James. James, he was a man of prayer. When he died, his knee is like a camel's knee. Do you know camel? Have you seen a camel? Yeah. Camel. Yeah, camel's knee is the best position, most comfortable position is uh, like kneel down. And the camel sleep when they, when they kneel down. Yeah, and then they sleep in the knee. And then this man is a man of prayer. He say about the patient. Can you say to me, be patient in Jesus' name? Be patient, be patient in, Jesus in Jesus' name. We have to be patient. Yeah, did you have a patient with your sister? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you did, okay. You have to be patient. How about you? Yes, okay. <laughs> be patient with your brother and sisters. Yeah? It's very important to be patient in the last day. Brothers, until the Lord is coming, be patient. How many believe that Jesus will be coming again? Do you believe that? Well done, well done. How is Jesus coming? Because the temples are getting built in Jerusalem, and once they're built, it says in the Bible, Jesus will be back for, for the oh. good and the bad. But the bad, they'll stay. And do they get a last chance, or do they? Or do they you stay? know the scripture, yeah? God, do you know? God encouraged everybody yeah. to repent of the sins. Yeah. And then he will come in with the cloud in the air. And when you hear the trumpet call, and God call all your names, and you can fly. You'll vanish. Yeah, you'll you can, vanish or will those you who are not born again, they'll get the judgment. Do you understand? They'll be perished. The but we have, a, yeah, we'll have a good news. Good news is Jesus Christ come back soon. Amen. He's coming back very, very soon. And therefore, before coming back of Lord Jesus, you have to be patient. Yeah. Have you seen the farmer? Have you seen the farmer? Yeah. Do you know what the Bible say? How the farmer wait. How patient he is waiting for autumn and spring rain. Do you know when the farmer planted the seed in the ground? Yeah. yeah. Do you think the farmer want to get the fruit tomorrow? Patient, thank you. You have to be patient. Do you understand? When you're sowing the seed, wait upon the Lord. Wait. Do you understand? Unfortunately, people, they want to get fruit quickly. Yeah. We call the, do you know, instant food. Do you know instant food? Yeah. Everything is doing quickly. Don't eat in instant food all the time. Yeah? And then, you know, open the can and it's not very healthy no, food. Better if you be patient. Yeah. Yes. Be patient. Can you say to each other, in the name of Jesus, be patient. Say to each other, in the name of Jesus, be patient in Jesus' name. Be patient. Do you know? We have to wait for vulnerable crops. And be patient. And you, the uh, farmer wait. You too be patient and stand firm because the Lord is coming near. Don't grumble against each other. Brothers, sisters, don't judge one another. The judge, who is the true judge? Jesus is standing at the door. Yeah, can you say to each other, so "Don't judge me, please." Say to each other, "Don't judge me, please." Yes. Yeah, I don't judge you. Okay. <laughs> in, in this day, people they judge one another by because of color, because of the accent, because of where they come from. 
You know, I love the black and white. I love everybody. Do you love everybody? Yeah, yeah and you love everybody, please. Do you know, in these days, the people is terrible. I still remember one guy, do you know Angel Station in central London? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near to the King's Cross Station. One guy is a tall man, six and a half foot, almost two, almost two meters. He's standing in front of me. Do you know what he's saying? Can I beat you? <laughs> he's a racist. He doesn't like this color. He stood in front of me. He said to me, can I beat you? And I was a policeman. I know how I protect my body. And he nearly wanted to punch me. Actually, my hobby was uh, boxing. I know how I beat. Actually, my hobby was uh, beating the people. Mm -hmm. But that man wanted to punch me. Punch me. And then, do you know what I did? I hold the Bible like this, one hand. And I hold the Bible, I hold the Bible, right hand, and hold my hand like this. If I don't hold my hand like this, what's going to happen? Put your hand up. I can defend myself. And hold like this, I say to him, I'm ready. When I say to him, I'm ready, he was like a boxer. He exercised like this. He punched my face for three, min uh, three minutes. You like boxing, eh? Mm. I just came back from the boxing. Oh, nearly? Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't beat him. <laughs> Do you understand? And then he punched my face over three minutes. And here, I'm a little bit, on, and mm. bleeding here. <clears throat> Blood rolling on my face. And do you know what happened to that man? He nailed down in front of me. And he hold my trousers. He said to me, how can I believe in your God? He was crying. I say, repent your sins for the kingdom of God is at hand. Can you imagine? That man, suddenly he cried and repented the sins. He gave his life to Jesus. Can you imagine? And I gave him my Bible as a gift. Now he told me, when I beat you, why are you never angry with me? I say, God changed my life. I don't have any desire to be angry with you. God changed me. God changed my life. Be patient. Yeah? If somebody upset to you, angry with you, what shall you do? Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Do you know one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit is a patient. Be patient. In the last day, especially be patient. How many of you believe that one day you'll go to heaven? Do you believe that one day you'll go to heaven? If you have the faith, yeah, if you have faith, you can look at the 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3 say, and you can read for me, yeah. Can you read for me, verse 3? Yeah, verse 3. 3. We continually remember that before our God and Father, <coughs> we continually remember before our God and Father your work. Produced by faith. Produced by faith, yeah. Your labor prompted by love. Yeah, love by your labor, yeah, and? And your endurance inspired by hope. Yeah. In our Lord Jesus hope. Christ. Hope. Do you understand? We need the love and faith and hope. If you have the hope, what do you need? You need a patient. Yeah, patient. Patient. How many of you have the hope? Do you have the hope? One day we'll see Jesus in heaven, yes? You need a patient. Be patient. In the last day, be patient like a farmer. And then, do you know, if we go back to you know, James chapter 5, and then, can you read for me? Uh, uh, verse, verse 11, you can read it. Verse 11. Chapter 5, verse 11. As you as know, you know yeah. we count as blessed those who pre who preserved. Yes. You have heard of job preser Job's preservation. Perseverance, yeah. Perseverance. Yeah. Perseverance. Yeah. And have seen what the Lord finally brought about. Yeah. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Yeah. Do you know the Job in the Bible, Job? Yes. Most suffering man in the history of the world is Mr. Job. He had 10 children. And he lost how many? Ten. All children he died. Win one day. Can you imagine? Within 24 hours, all 10 children died. Within one hour, one day, he lost all his possession. Even he lost the his head. Because of he lost his head, do you know what he did? He, he broke into some, some kind of uh, looping, the ceramic thing. He scratched his body. So itching, all his body. On the ashes. And do you know what his wife said to him? You never know that? Job's wife. What? Uh, uh, where's your God uh, now? Why is your God doing this? Or something like that. I don't know. She condemned the God. 
Yeah, don't don't guess. Read the Bible. You know what the Bible say? Yeah, very 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 close actually. But what the Bible say? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Yeah. Do you know what he say to her husband? Curse your God and die. Can you imagine? One day you'll marry. Yeah. You want to get married one day? Don't don't live like Job's wife, please. Yeah. Never. Job's wife said, "Husband, curse your God and kill yourself." Can you imagine? But what Job did? Keep patient. Yeah. Keep patient. If somebody nagging, yeah, I don't know anybody you already married. If your wife, your husband nagging after you, condemned you, upset you, discourage you, keep patient. Keep patient. Keep patient. Can you say to each other, "Keep patient in Jesus' name." Keep patient in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Lord Jesus, you need the patience. Amen. In the last day, we need the patience. Do you know? In the last day, we need the patient. Patient. That is why the f- learn from Job. What should we learn from Job? Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Do you know most suffering man in the history of the world? His name is Job. He was suffering, and then God say, according to the scripture, learn from Job. Be patient. Even his wife say to him, curse your God and kill yourself. Can you imagine? And then he kept patient. And he, do you know what was happening? God bless the Job double, double, two times better. So much blessing, and then you know many. You know, I I I have the Bible College. I'm a principal of the Bible College. There's some Bible College student asking me, Pastor Paul, who is the wife of uh, this man Job? Can you guess? Who is the wife? Do you think is the wife run away from Job? No. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> who is the wife of Job? New wife? No. Can you guess? I'm not the wife of Job. Yeah. I know. I mean, can you guess? Do you, do you understand? Job he get another ten children no again. No and um, I think is I studying. I look at the book of Job again and again and again. I discover Job's character. Uh, Bible never mention about the Job he met with another woman. Bible never mentioned about the job he divorced from his first wife. No, mm-hmm. never mentioned. So, she and never uh, divorced, but she ran away. Possible, but the uh, uh, <laughs> job waiting for his wife, mm-hmm. and then then uh, continually, so. continually, continually, job encouraged his know, wife to come know, back, know, like Hosea. Do you know? I want to do that. Yeah. You know, according to the according to the Job's character, uh, I do believe that uh, Job he didn't find another woman. Do you understand? And then Job he is a man of a patient. I think uh, you know I'm a married man, and you are a married man, yeah. And then how I many you married woman over there? Yeah? I'm not. Yeah, I know you are single, <laughs> but I telling you, <laughs> one day when you get married, you will see, and then. Married man and woman need a patience. Patient, patience is very, very important. Be patient in the eyes of the law. Be patient. Learn from, uh, learn from the job. Be patient. Learn from a farmer. Farmer patient. When they digging and then sowing the seed, they wait, and then they'll get the fruit. Why they have the patience? Because they have the hope. If you don't have the hope, you don't have a patience. Do you know, patient and hope, they're working together. Do you understand? Who is a friend of hope? Patient. Who is a friend of patient? Hope. Hope is a friend of patient. Can you say to each other, in the name of, uh, say after me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have a friend. I have a friend. Patient is my friend. Hope is my friend. In Jesus' name. Amen. You and I have a hope and patience. You and I have a hope and patience. Amen. Amen. Yes. One day we'll see Jesus, because we have a patience and hope. And then, you know, I asked the young youth around. The, you know, I was a youth pastor a long time ago, and I gave the piece of paper and then 
and then pen. And then we, when you see Jesus first time, what do you want to say? Write down. Around the 30 people write down. And you know, mostly they say that when they see Jesus face to face in heaven, most of the people, they write down, Jesus, thank you what you have done for me on earth. Now I reach to heaven. There's a, most of the people that say thank you. But one guy say, oh, you are real. <laughs> one guy said, right now, you are real. <laughs> Can you imagine? He thought he said, oh, he never expect to go to heaven. But when you see Jesus, he write down on the paper, oh, you are real. Be patient. Have you seen the, have you seen the wool ball, wool ball to make the cloth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was studying the counseling in the Spotters College. And then when I was studying the counseling, they put the seizure and the wool ball. And then the wool ball, and not orange, it's, it's like this, all the mess like this. Yeah. And then they gave us one hour, can you remove properly? Yeah. And then because of seizure, I had a big temptation. For what? Cut. 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 And then, <laughs> easy. Uh, but I need to learn about the patient. Mm. Do you understand? If somebody upset you, easily to cut off the relationship. Like a seizure, cut off. Do you understand? But what you need to do? We need the patience. Do you know, we learned the wool ball, and then <laughs> we saw the seizure. And I love to use the seizure to cut and then finish. But God doesn't want to do it. God wants you to learn the patient. Can you say after me, in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus help me. Jesus, Jesus help me. I need your patience. I need your patience. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If Jesus is not patient with you, you and I will let it perish. But thanks be to God. Jesus keep patient for you and me. Yeah? Number two, today I can share with you uh, about the faith. Can you look at the verse 13? Yeah? Is any one of you? Yeah? Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Okay, this. How many of you are trouble now? What? Anybody is trouble? Everyone has troubles. Okay, everyone. Okay. <laughs> you are very mature. <laughs> if anybody is a trouble, they should pray. If anybody happy, anybody happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. You are happy? You what you need to do? Sing a song. Look, once again, you can read for me. Yeah. If anybody is in trouble, let them pray. If anybody happy, let them sing songs. songs yeah? Can you read it again? Verse 13. James chapter 5, verse 13. Read it for me again. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Yeah. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. You are so happy. Can you sing for Jesus? Yeah? Sing for Jesus. Thank you. Only 10 seconds. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> together. together. One, two, three. One, two, three. I go to the rock of my salvation. I go to the soul and the river of the dead. I go to the mountain. And the mountain stayed by me. I'm around with the ziggy teacher. I went to the mountain. And the Lord was standing by me. I'm um, give the big love for you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Oh. You understand? If anybody happy, I can sing. Though. Sing. sing for Jesus. If anybody trouble, gospel music. Pray. Pray. Do you understand? Pray. <laughs> if anybody trouble, pray. If anybody happy, sing. Sing. You see? Yeah. We have to pray before God. Yeah. If you pray, you need to come before God. Yeah. If you sing it, you sing it before God. Therefore. In anybody in trouble, come to Jesus. Is anybody happy? Come to Jesus. Which means all the time you need to come to Jesus. Jesus. Do you yeah. understand? I ask you again. If anybody in trouble, what shall you do? Come to Jesus. Pray. And pray. 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 Yeah, come to Jesus and pray. If anybody happy? Sing. Sing. Singing. Singing. I like your singing. Gospel music. You don't yeah. Sing non -gospel. Non -gospel. Yeah, sing for Jesus. Just gospel songs. Yeah, gospel please, songs. Uh, non, not uh, worldly songs. Yeah. I don't like the heavy metal heavy song. song. Yeah, and then, you know, please uh, be careful. You know, I was studying in the Bible college, and uh, we were studying about how Satan using the, you know, satanic music. Yeah. Have you heard about uh, Lucifer? Yeah. Lucifer, what was his job? He was 
in Heba. In Heba. Oh, oh, yeah. He was the singer, was he? Yeah, yeah he was a worship leader. Singer. Yes. Singer. Well done. When Dean watch Heaven, he was so proud and arrogant. He wanted everything. And then Dean watch Heaven, he wanted to compare with the Most High God yeah. and got kicking out. And one third of angel came to this world. We call the demons now. Mm. The leader of demons is Lucifer. Do you know what was happening? Lucifer in this world, what they do? The Lucifer, Satan, do you know what he do? He control the music now to control the young people. Yeah. Have you seen the young boys and girls, teenage boys and girls? They always they listen to the heavy metal music. Gang, 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 like this. Without this music, they cannot move. Without this music, they cannot study. Without this music, they cannot drive. Yeah. Do you understand? This is the plan of Satan. Therefore, Satan, Luster, do you, do you think the Satan worshiping God now? Yes or no? no? Impossible. He used to worshiping God in throne of the law, but now it is impossible. It's that is why Satan, yeah, that's right. Satan is so jealous now, and that is why he cannot worship in God. Now, what they do? They control the millions, billions of people to control the people by music. Even famous people. Yeah, you see. Yeah, like yeah. famous singers. Like yeah, they're, they're tell, all tell, talk, tell they're them. They're talking about like evilness. Yeah. Yes, yes, God is the girl, like, there was um, a lady. Uh, lady there's Gaga there's also. No, Ariana Grande. She saying God is a woman. In her really? Life. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Making Can you imagine? Hard. Don't listen to the, this uh, demonic music, please. Yeah. And then when I study in the Bible college, you know what I saw? At a long time so ago, is a record, record the, the uh, how can you record the pan? And then they upside down. You know, when they turn on this uh, record, mm. I saw, I wish the Lushpur, I wish the Lushpur. That's the sound coming. Mm. Play, play backwards. Yeah, backward. Mm. Play backwards. And uh, they, they, they put upside down also, and then, oh, I saw the strange word come out. Mm. Because I was studying in the Bible college, everybody watched the video. In the last day, Satan used the music to control the people. But you mm. and I, you can worship in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Worship in God. <coughs> when you worship in God, the Spirit of God come upon you. Amen. 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 Worship in God. Do you remember when King Saul had the demonic power and David, he said your name, David played the harp. What happened? Yeah, and then yeah, he said, the, he calm down. The, the, yeah, the King Saul, the demon spirit is gone away. You see? You need to sing in worshiping God. Don't tell me I'm not very good singer. Don't tell me. You are a beautiful singer, okay? Can you say, teacher, you are a beautiful singer for Jesus. Say, teacher, you are a beautiful singer for Jesus. Amen. You are a beautiful singer for Jesus. Amen. Jesus, okay? And look at the verse 14. Look at the verse 14. Verse 14. Yeah. James 5, verse 14. Is anyone among you ill? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and mm. anoint them. In the oil, in with oil, in the name of the Lord. Yeah, keep reading. Yeah. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. Mm. The Lord will raise them up, and they will, ha and they, if they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, con confess your sins to each other, and pray for each other, so that you may be healed. Mm. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Yes, the Bible say the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. You know, we are righteous by the blood of Lord Jesus. Amen. Can you say, teacher, you are righteous by the blood of Lord Jesus? Say, teacher, you are righteous by the blood of Lord Jesus. Can you say, teacher, you are holy because of Jesus? Say, teacher, you are holy because of Jesus. Amen. I'm righteous. I'm holy because of Jesus. Amen. And the prayer of righteous man is powerful and effective. Do you know, sometimes I listen to, I listen to a phone call from all over the world, even midnight. Somebody sent me text me at midnight. I, I, I heard the sound and and asked for prayer. Then I pray for you know Mary, Mary Hannah. I was praying. I was praying. Is your brother's wife, brother's wife, sister? No, yeah. We pray. Do you know prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. You have to confess one another, and then God will heal the sick. God will forgive all our sins. It's very important prayer. Change the world. Yeah? Prayer. Change the world. Can you say it to me in the name of Jesus? In the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Prayer. Prayer. Change the world. Change the world. Amen. 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 How many want to change the world? Amen. Do you want to change the world? Yeah. How? By prayer. By prayer. By prayer. By prayer. 
You can change the world by prayer. Yeah? And then look at verse 17. James 5, verse 17. Verse 17. Yeah. Elijah. Elijah was a human being, even as we, even as we are. He prayed earnest that, yeah. that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Yeah. Again, he prayed that the heavens gave rain and the earth produced its crops. Can you imagine one man prayed to God, no rain, for how many years? No rain? Three and a half years. And then he prayed again to another three and a half years, Lainey. Which means somebody prayed to God for how many years weather controlled by one man? How many years? Seven years. Seven years weather by one man's prayer. Uh, I still remember no, last year, two years ago, I was in Africa before coronavirus. You know, we had open air service. Open air service, we preach in the outside on the street. And uh, it was heavy rainy. You know, I don't know how many hundred. I asked all the congregation, can you lift up your hand with your finger like this? Everybody like this. Point to the cloud. Everybody like this. Can you do it like this? Yeah. Can you say after me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You rain. You rain. Stop rain right now. Stop rain. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We did it like that. You know what, Chapel? Heavy landing. Suddenly, rain stopped. Everybody saw. They are amazed. Everybody wet, but we saw the rain stop instantly. Can you imagine? Do you like the snow now? Yeah, no. No. Okay. You say yes, or you no? Like okay. Snow. I like snow. I like snow. Yeah, okay, I like snow. Oh, I, you know, cold. you know, for me, I love. It was more thicker snow. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You can we can pray to a more thicker snow. Okay. <laughs> Do you understand? One man, Elijah, is like you and me, but he pray earnestly. He pray earnestly. What does it mean pray earnestly? Earnest mean. Very hard. Very 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 hard. Put your heart. Yeah. With all your heart. Actually, when pray, uh, when Elijah pray, this, uh, do you know what happened? His head go on the between the, his uh, his uh, his uh, two legs. Yeah. Can you imagine? Did you did you did you try? No. Your head your head go uh, in the in the middle of your your when you kneel down, yeah. Your head go in the middle of your your, yeah. But oh, the yeah. go the your they head go your head go inside. Like your head go. <laughs> oh, you did you did walk oh, out. Give the crowd. <laughs> Do you know if you are if you are thin, it's possible. If you are if you have the big belly, it's impossible. Long times ago, uh, you try, you try. Long times ago, when I was fasting, when I was fasting, I kneel down. I was praying like Elijah. My knees, my, my head go uh, between like exactly the yeah like between the no no in the middle in the inside inside it like, like uh, not, yeah go inside yeah like that. I'm also, do you know this is a miracle? This is a miracle. Because of uh, your bed, like, he is a man of a prayer. He is a yeah, prayer to God with a whole heart to really. Do you want to know what does it mean earnestly? Yeah? With a whole heart to With a whole heart to really. And then one elder asked the pastor, please teach, you, please teach us what does it mean pray earnestly. And then pastor asked him, can you bring the full of water in the big basket? And then the elder, okay, how would you? He said, why? But I will show you. I will teach you what does it mean honest. Mm. And then he bring the big water uh, in the water. basket, yeah, full water. Holy water. No, oh no, no just no, no, tap water. water. No, just, just water. Mm. Bring the tap, and put the water in full of water in the, and on the table like like the table on the table. Yes. Then then and then pastor ask him, please if you don't mind, don't complain to me, and I will teach you what does it mean pray. This man Elijah pray. How he pray? Pray earnestly. I will tell you new, oh, what does it mean earnestly. And then, you know what the pastor did? Please uh, don't complain to me. Give me around uh, five minutes. I can teach you what does it mean pray earnestly. He said, oh, I don't mind. You can teach me. And do you know what the pastor did? There's a full of water. And then you know, come down. And the pastor put, uh, put uh, his uh, the elder's head inside the, with the basket. And full of water. Water go inside uh, his, uh, the elder's face. And then pastor pushes his, his uh, uh, head. Do you know how long? How long? Over two minutes. Over two minutes. And he never died. No, and then, minutes. do you know, 
he was in the inside two minutes. Do you know what he did? He's screaming. Ah, you pastor tried to kill me. And the the pastor, he doesn't want to kill him actually, but he wants to teach him what does it mean honestly. Mm -hmm. He push continually. Do you know what if he screams like this? And then he need to breathe, he need oxygen. And then he released, the pastor released. He goes, You pastor, <laughs> what's wrong? You, you tried to kill me. And I said, No, you want to learn about honesty. Mm -hmm. How did you cry when your face inside the water? You cry with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. That is mean you pray earnestly. Can you pray earnestly? Yeah. Yeah. I still remember. I think I I speak last Sunday, and one of my friend, she's a missionary. <clears throat> she's a missionary uh, from Canada. She went to Thailand. Do you know Thailand is a, she's terrible to transgender, LGBT, all these things. But do you know what happened? He and his daughter. His daughter is a teenager girl. And when they arrived, they used the motorbike uh, taxi. Because if they have the bags, they used the two motorbikes. And his, her daughter used the uh, front motorbike, and she used the second one. And do you know what happened? The motorbike driver, he, he became a kidnapper. He kidnapped the, the missionary daughter and ran away with motorbike. Do you know, when the, in, in Thailand, if a young girl, teenager girl, especially white teenager girl, kidnapping, they make what? Like a sex slave. And she knows, and the missionary, do you know what she did? She's screaming when she saw the, her daughter run away. And then she's screaming with all her heart and asked the, the, another motorbike driver, chasing after him, follow him, catch him. The kidnap driving very fast, high speed. But by the grace of God, and then that kidnapper and slow the speed and then push the, the young teenage girl and run away. And then the missionary, you know, found her daughter. And do you know what she say? I never ever pray to God that kind of earnest prayer in my life, what she say. Because like the, she was in the, in the middle of death and life. Do you understand? For her daughter, when you pray like that, God will answer you. Can you say after me, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I will pray to God, I will pray to God. With, earnestly. with earnestly. Amen. With all your heart, with all your strength, and all your mind, and God will answer you. Pray for somebody. This man, Elijah, pray like that. You see, Elijah was a man like you and me. Yeah? But he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. It did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed. The heaven give rain, and the earth produce the crops. In verse 19, you can read from verse 19 and 20. My brothers. My brothers and sisters. <clears throat> if one of you should wander from the truth and, sh and someone should bring, you, bring that person back, remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the, er from the error of their way will save them from death and cover... Mm -hmm. And, and cover over a multitude, multitude of sins. Of sins. Yeah. You see? Do you know, unfortunately, in the last days, so many people misleading. Do you know, in these days, I saw the, the demonic theory, the earth is flat theory. Can you imagine? People, they learn away from the presence of God. They say, oh, I'm saved by Jesus, but they still believe there's some strange theory. Can you imagine? The demonic theory. We have to preach the gospel. We need to tell him the truth in the last day. But remember three things today. Have a hope, have a patience, have a faith. Yeah. And then pray earnestly. Yeah. How many of you want to pray earnestly like Elijah? You can pray. Yeah. How many want to uh, keep the patient like Job? Yeah, keep the patient. How many of you have want to have a full of hope for Jesus? Yes. Have full of hope in Jesus. And you will see God will bless you abundantly. And uh, tonight, and I believe that God wants to touch you and bless you. And then this message is not just uh, from my mouth. This message is from the Bible, the Word of God. Do you know the Word of God? This is the Word of a living God. It's still you know, uh, uh, relevant for us. Do you know, God changed my life by this Word. Mm -hmm. I meditate to this Word of God day and night. If God changed my life by this Word, 
you know, God can change you by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, word of God is most important in our life. Man shall not live by bread alone, alone, but by the word of God. By every word come from mouth of God. You have to live by the word of God. Yeah. Can you touch your heart? I can pray for you. How many of you need a patient and hope and power prayer? And then, 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 then yeah, you can touch your heart. I can pray. Father, I pray for my dear brothers and sisters right now. We need a patient. We need a hope. We need a prayer like this man, Elijah. Would you give us your grace and your mercy? You can have a, a full of a patience, full of a hope, and full of a, a, a a power prayer Amen. in our life. Amen. And one day we'll stand in front of Almighty God Amen. in heaven Amen. and God will speak to us, well Amen. done, good and faithful servant. Amen. Lord Jesus, we love you, bless your name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Give the big love of people, Lord Jesus. Thank you. God bless you.